Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the angle of depression. So the angle of depression is the angle between you and an object on the ground. So it's, and it's the angle between the horizontal at the top and the line of sight. Okay. So let's have a look at the two examples here. So Andy is at the top of a building, 45 metres tall. He spots a car below him, 150 metres away. Work out the angle of depression. So the key to this question is draw yourself a good diagram. So we've got Andy, which is at the top of the building. And we've got a car below on the ground. Okay. If you join those two points up, so the distance between those two points is 150 metres. Okay, and let's make a right angle triangle. So we're also given uh, the height of the building, which is 45 metres tall. So that's the same as this length here. Okay, and we're after the angle of depression, so that's the angle between the horizontal line of sight and the distance going diagonally down there. So this is the angle of depression, so let's call that theta. So to solve this problem then, you're actually going to use trigonometry, okay, because we've got two sides of a right angle triangle and we need to find the angle. Okay, so uh, let's label up our triangle first. So our longest side is the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle of depression is the opposite, and the third side is the adjacent. So our three trig formulas are sin theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan theta is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so we need to select one of these formulas. So we're given the opposite and we're given the hypotenuse. So the one with the O and H in is sin. So it would be sin theta equals O over H. So if we fill these two numbers into our formula, it will be 45 over 150. Now to find theta, we've got to do the opposite to sin, which is sin inverse. So we need to sin inverse this fraction. So if you get your scientific calculator and you'll type in shift sin fraction 45 over 150. And that will give an angle of depression of 17.5 degrees. And that's our final answer. So let's move on to example two. So Bob is at the top of a 16 metre cliff. He spots a boat below him 250 metres away. Work out the angle of depression. So we've got Bob at the top of our top of the cliff. So he spots a boat 250 metres away. So this distance here is 250. Um, let's make a right angle triangle first. So our height of our cliff is 16 metres. So that's the same as this distance. And the angle of depression is the angle between the direct line of sight and the horizontal. So that is for theta. So if we label up our triangle, um, that would be the opposite. That would be the high part of news and our third side is the adjacent. So again, we've got the opposite and we've got the high part of news exactly the same as the first example. So the form we're going to be using is sin. So it would be sin 
theta equals O, which is 16 over 250. So again, we just need to sin inverse this fraction. So if we get the calculator and we go shift sin fraction 16 over 250. It doesn't really matter if you close your bracket. I didn't do it on the first one. Uh, you still get the same answer. And our angle of depression is 3.7 degrees. Not very big on this one. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.